Hello and welcome to episode 19 of the Unqualified Game Chat. I am your host, Azara Lopez, and with me today, Spencer, the legacy. I'm here and you can't stop me. What kind of shirt are you? What kind of shirt are you wearing today? It's a Sega shirt I got from E3. Oh, perfect for today's perfect. show. Perfect for the topic. We're going I didn't to even t- mean to do that. Yeah, well, I mean, you have uh, you rolled a 20, a natural 20 on luck today. I did, and it's going to pay off because that's that's a little hint as to what our topic is today. No spoilers. I think I already I think I already spoiled it. Well, there's a little bit of spoilers. <laughs> a, little, a little bit. How are you feeling? Well, it's on- I'm feeling great. We're recording this earlier than usual, so it's, yeah. it's bright outside. It's only like 2 p.m. for me, so it's, it's fun. It's I got a bit more energy, you know? Yeah, you're not at the end of your day. Typically, it's 9 o'clock. Your, yeah. your little boy metabolism is kicking in. Going, uh, 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 <laughs> I mean, baby, you baba, goggle. Uh, uh, bedtime, bedtime, bedtime. <laughs> I was Spencer. I have a question. Sure. Yeah, uh, this is this uh, wasn't planned, but I want to talk to you about uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, Union Kai. Yeah. So the English release is available now. the 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 finale mm-hmm. of this the mobile chapter of this mobile game. Uh, how do you feel? What are your thoughts? I still think it's really weird that the mobile game is so important to the plot of the rest of the games. I still think that's weird as hell. It's a really yeah. strange decision. Yeah. I think it's weird how serious everyone's taking yeah. it. <laughs> it's like, There's like tons of videos out of dissecting I, it and like memes about like how dark it is. Yeah. It's what's wild. Guys. <laughs> Ooh. It's the funny Mickey Mouse cloud show. Come on. Yeah. Let's let's all chill a little bit. Like, I don't know. I I am in a I am in a website full of Kingdom Hearts nerds. And literally, I had to turn down at least four to five feature requests to write about how it's not (laughs) releasing in the West. And I had to uh, shoot them down because we already had one up. Yeah. It's just like, guys, chill. There's plenty of other things to write about, you know? It's E3. (laughs) Yeah, we have so much. Let's just back off of Kingdom Hearts Union Kai. Yeah. Or Union Cross. Union Cross. It used to be Unchained. Now Unch- it's Union Cross. Oh, okay. Is it not Union Kai? Which what's Kai? Kai, I don't know. That's oh, isn't that like the weird X symbol? They're like, it's not X, it's key or Kai. Oh. Yeah. So they're like, but it's all it can be Chi. I they introduced that in Birth by Sleep. It was, it's an X, but it can be Key, Kai, or or Chi. I don't know. I think the the very original version in Japan was like Kingdom Hearts chi or kai and then over here it was unchained and then it was union cross i'm going to be crucified if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure that's fairly true you are my resident kingdom heart super fan so if ever i have any questions they usually go to you so i'm going to believe you yeah and then the I'm comments going- are going to say i misled you that i'm wrong it's okay let them say what they want i'll still believe well, that, you i th- see that's friendship that's friendship so what if they're right you're you yeah, yeah, yeah. Got your back, yeah. no matter what. Hell yeah, hell yeah, brother. And that brings us to this episode that is recorded every week and posted to podcast services on Thursdays, YouTube's, Apple's, and Spotify's, and the radio, the iHeart Radios. It's all yeah. there every week of a little bit of a little bit of Spencer, a little bit, and a little bit of Azario. Nice little pinch of each i feel like this show allows me to rip off these these chains <laughs> of formalities and i yeah. can just i can just really be myself you can just be wild i just i feel a little wild today yeah and Un- unbutton that shirt mister well, well, that's <laughs> back off. <laughs> Don't get too crazy. It's like get Not too that crazy. wild. Not that wild. <laughs> Jaded back. Come on, let's go. Let's okay. Right, put put in the shackles back. I'm putting on the chains. <laughs> 
What are you playing this week? Well, I'm playing two games mostly. I'm playing Guilty Gear Strive, which is so dang fun. Uh, it's Guilty Gear has this cool tone that like nothing else has where it's, I describe it as Kingdom Hearts fighting game, the plot. It's so weird and silly, but it's so self-serious that I love it. it. It's all the characters are named after music and they all have weird gimmicks and it's so fun to play. Like, man, I, I've been having such a blast playing Strive and I saw you guys did too with your review. Yeah, we gave it a 10 out of 10. That's a, a rare, a rare 10 out of 10. Rare 10 out of 10. Noisy Pixel, it's not easy. They don't just hand out 10s. We don't either a Monster Vine, but but yeah, it's um it's really fun to play online. Uh the rollback net code helps a lot. It's uh I've been having a real blast with that. And then the other game is the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection, which is really hard. Really, really, really hard in a fun way. But damn, I'm like, I need to wipe my forehead after I play a bit because I'm clenching the controller. I'm button mashing. I'm going crazy, but it's it's so fun. Uh, I, I have memories of, of watching my brother play Ninja Gaiden Black when I was a kid. And I was like, this looks like the hardest game ever made. I can't believe this. This is probably like the hardest game. And then I replayed it last week for the review, and I was like, it's probably not that hard. And then like 25 minutes later, I was like, ooh, that's a tough one. That's a they, – they know how to make those games hard, Team Ninja. Did you – do you feel like they're progressively hard, or did they, was there one that stood out that wasn't as good as the others? Because I know there's – I don't think Threes is good. Three – And that, that's the big consensus, right? Yeah, three has weird design. They they really like having a bunch of aggressive enemies and people far away with bazookas, and you can't focus on either one of them, so you just get mixed up a bunch. I wasn't I wasn't huge on that, but uh, three is really hard. One's really hard. Two is easier. Um, so it's it's not like progressively difficult, but I think like three is even for not being great. Three is still an okay game. So it's a it's a worthwhile collection to pick up if you like character action games because it's just like two really good and one like solid action game and then it's all like the best versions like the Razor's Edge and the extra content from Sigma. So it's a it's if you're into tough games and action games then that's definitely the way to go. Ninja Gaiden skipped an entire generation of That's weird. I was just consoles. thinking about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, didn't, it, didn't they do an interview recently where they were like Ninja Gaiden is the most important series to Koei? And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 weird that they admit to that stuff, but maybe it's just because that's why they don't want to jump the gun. Yeah, they want to make it. it perfect. It's a pretty action game. And it it's it's been there for me since I was a little kid. Mm-hmm. Um since the 2D side scroller games. But now you have Neo, Team Ninja, Team Ninja working on Neo. It's tough to really differentiate those two now, right? Yeah. yeah. Because you're gonna have to make you're gonna have to make Ninja Gaiden. I mean, Ninja Gaiden has a sex appeal that Neo doesn't really have. That's true too. So I mean you you kind of have design differences, but in difficulty wise, there has to be some give and take you you can't do the stamina bar you can't do that in a yeah. ninja guiding game Absolutely. Uh, you, you, you can't limit the action i i i'm eager to see what they do moving forward but i doubt we'll see like a ps5 exclusive ninja guiding game it's it's gonna be yeah. like i think we will see a new one pretty soon but i, I don't so. i don't think it's gonna be um completely next gen i just think it's gonna be like a ps4 game back to the roots of what made this series fun and some Neo DLC to yeah, top it off. that'd be fun. Cut to like two days from now where they announced PS5 Ninja Gaiden at E3. And we're yeah. like, ooh. They kind of fucked him over in like Dead or Alive 6 though. So it's like, come on, you guys say you're this guy's important to you and yeah. you do nothing with Dead or Alive. I remember my older brother had uh, Dead or Alive Ultimate on Xbox and I was like, 
why are there all these girls? I want to only play as Ryu. Because I was like eight. So I was like, man, this game has so many girl characters. What's the, I just want to be Ryu. Why can't I just be Ryu Hayabusa? So I completely misunderstood the point of Dead or Alive as an eight-year-old. And Ayani is there, so yeah. Put put her put put her on top of the cake. I'll pre-order. I'll pre-order. That's all it takes, Ayane. Pre-order. Who are you in? That that'll get me. I like cool ninja men. Did did are there any of your favorite characters from that series that that stand out, or is it just Ryu all it's just the way? Ryu. It's Ryu. Yeah. No, I mean like it, it's it's a fun franchise, but I it, since I was a kid, I was like I just like the cool character. Yeah. Ryu. Yeah. Um, what have you been playing though, Azario? Shit. Uh, what have I been playing? I've been playing Edge of Eternity. Mm. It's a game that's been in Steam Early Access. Oh, I believe my first GDC I met with them. And that was like that was probably six years ago. I met with the developers to see this game. And now I'm playing the full release. It's it's way too ambitious. Uh, and it really hurts how pretty this game is or how pretty it could be. Just riddled with graphical bugs, strange. It's like it's like there was 20 people and they all had this idea of a JRPG and they just said, fuck it, let's put it all in. Like they have a grid-based, turn-based battle system similar to um, The Last Remnant, if you ever played that. Um, but not as not as structured as the last remnant it just prolongs all of the battles like you're you have to move your characters but that takes a turn and then you're you're also on a timer and then there's magic that only affects grid so if the enemy moves from the grid it's just a waste of a whole charge it's just it sounds very convoluted it's so convoluted and it's so it's it's like everything is half-assed in this game you have an op- you have an open world but it's there's nothing really to do in it except for run so they they took these inspirations from Xenoblade clearly in this game you have little monsters running around and stuff but yeah. why not just remove the the battle system altogether they have the monsters running around the fields why not just attack there you know why yeah. not just i yeah it's like they I don't know. And I think that's the problem with a six year development time, right? Because you're, you, you improve over that, that six years, you know, you get better and they should have real, they should have not done this steam early access thing and just changed the game over time, had some play tests and focused on that rather than building this game out in this state, because they could have released it, removed the battle system, remove there's like a stamina system but you can't jump and then there's like this like there's this weird um team energy which depletes as you run and you have to rest to to refill it and then there's it's just why yeah it's just why why and and you have a marker on a map and i never know why i'm doing what i'm doing the the opening everything the the opening of the game everyone dies and that's it because your next mission is just to go to your dying mom. But it's like, you didn't care about the war that the game just opened up with, which makes it seem to me that they developed this part way before they developed this part. And something yeah. is missing here. There's, yeah. there's no connection because he doesn't even mention the prologue, like in the story, it's like they completely forgot about what happened in this area. And then in chapter three, they start bringing it up again, like, because that's when they released the prologue, you know, it's, it's yeah. very strange. That's weird. very strange. It's very inconsistent. Yeah. And that's why I don't think that this uh, steam early access was good because it, it hurts the narrative. It hurts the, um, the characters. Uh, there's, there's English audio. It's, there's a ton of NPCs, but I don't know. It's very ambitious and it didn't, really work out can't keep up with its ambition yeah it's sad too because i mean for a team of 20 to pull this off there's a lot here and that's probably it if they just cut some stuff and then focused on fine-tuning what they had that was good it would have been so much better 
that's always a shame that kind of game like when you can see peering through the potential and you're like ah could have been big yeah i've also been watching a lot of dr stone very good very good yeah oh yeah good morning morning oh so good so hype so good i just fucking rules dude dude Dude, I love science so much and I can I watched it in I watched it in Japanese and then I watched it in English and I still had a great time. Yeah. And I normally don't like shonen stuff, but this year is like the year of Azario getting into to <laughs> shonen, dude. I just we're hanging out. I'm rubbing off on you. Yeah, I don't know. I got that jujitsu kaisen, you know? Oh yeah. I, fuck with that all day dude hell yeah brother i've i've been reading the the manga i've been i've been so it, into these these anime manga shonen stuff and that that wasn't me last year last year i i, I stayed away from shonen just because it yeah. was it felt to me that it was just a waste after one piece i kind of dropped off after like um years of one piece Damn. and and i was like that's the last that's the last shonen I'm going to invest myself in. And everything changed. Everything changed. I think so it's because they started out there. They started launching new ones, right? That became yeah. popular. Yeah. And I think getting in early is what is required of some of these. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, especially, yeah. Especially like uh, when you know the episodes are going to get to fucking 200, you know? Yeah. It's a lot easier to watch weekly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I've been doing a lot of that and I've just been chilling because E3 is going to be hell. It is. And I'm already, my inbox is already filling up with crap that I need to address and getting very, uh, overwhelming. Completely. Yeah. Overwhelming. It's, time it's, it's funny because I mean, the viewers view and I am so jealous of people who just get to watch the yeah. events because I'm over here like typing away, like screenshotting. Okay. Oh, what did he say? Rewind, rewind. What did he say? What was that? Rewind. Yeah. Oh, did they give a release date? Really? You know, like platforms. Is, is it coming to other platforms? Because if you listen to something on Nintendo's, they're only going to say that it's coming to Switch. But then yeah. you'll get a press release 10 minutes later that says it's coming to all consoles. So now you have yeah. to go back and, and fix everything. The classic Nintendo conundrum. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It's, um, it's a wild time of year. And I think I think that brings us into um I think that brings us into our conversation. And it's just about E3 in general. Yeah. E3 I wanna, is. I just want to know what um what you're looking forward to. I think that's what I want to touch on. Yeah. Well, like you cluttered inbox already. So (laughs) looking forward to doing all the writing for, uh, for news stuff. That's going to be, it's going to be extreme, but it's, it's the weird kind of E3 since we're all at home. It -hmm. reminds me of like before I was in the business and I was like 14 and I was like, time to, time to cover e3 on my website that no one reads so i would just fill it up with news but it feels like it's nostalgic it's like that again but um you know i'm i'm looking forward to a lot of games um like the ace attorney the great ace attorney chronicles um collection i can't wait to see more about that i can't wait for Do you like great great ace attorney i do i love the concept You know, you want to know something funny? What? So uh, when I started writing in video games, I knew Ace Attorney. I've never played an Ace Attorney, right? Yeah. And (laughs) so so I was on this like nerdy ass podcast once and uh, they were talking about Ace Attorney. And I said, I said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I called I referred to the guy as ace (laughs) like his name was ace the fucking i get so hot red you know the fucking podcast goes quiet and i i can tell nobody knows if i'm joking 
or I'm serious. You play into it. That's what you do. Well, I try to play into it, but I don't know why they're being awkward because I'm still thinking his name is Ace. (laughs) (laughs) So so I can't pinpoint what I said was wrong. Uh, And then I just kind of laugh it off. And some guy says, oh, yeah, Ace. (laughs) You know, and I I get by just the skin of my teeth. You're like, ha ha, yeah, yeah, Ace. So, but um, his name is not Ace, right? No, it's, it's Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright. It's the other half of the title. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And to this day, I've never played a, uh, a Phoenix Wright game. Well, the trilogy is on sale very often. The first. Yeah, three I've never played a Layton game either. I've only played Lady Layton. I, I haven't played a Layton either. I've played Lady Layton uh, on mobile devices, and that's it. Yeah. But, um, I yeah, haven't I'm, seen that one, but I could see I could see why people want the great Ace Attorney. Yeah, uh, it's it's Ace. a totally like different thing. It's like it's uh, like an old school Japanese lawyer and Sherlock Holmes who's called Herlock Sholmes because of copyright and like all these wild weird cases and like it it looks so fun that I really can't wait for it. This, these games are known for their localization and like yeah. coming into Los Angeles, even though it's based in yeah, and it's based in Japan. So there's that famous comic where they're like eating sushi and he's like, "Eat your hamburger, Apollo." Yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, that's pretty much what it is. All the characters are like, "I love hamburgers." I've I've been fucked over by that too because when I used to watch Pokemon. And they used oh, to call the the rice donuts. balls the jelly donuts uh, yeah. jelly yeah. There's and a classic scene where they edited a rice ball to be a sub sandwich rolling down a hill. I That's classic. But I believed. I was I was like ten years old. Why would they lie to me? Yeah, why would they lie? And it's like oh, because they they were scared that we would learn about another culture. <laughs> so like it must be jelly donuts. <laughs> I thought they were so adamant about it too. Like they were like, this is a jelly donut. It yeah. is nothing I else. I love jelly donuts. It's yeah. Like, okay. I see. <laughs> I see. No, it's, um, it's great. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they could pull that off now. I feel like localization they has improved not. so much. Yeah. I don't think it would fly. But also I don't think that it hurt the series. I think it made fun memories. Yeah. For some, like it's, it's so silly to look back on. Like, I, it's, I don't know. I'm glad that there's something dumb and silly and funny about, yeah. about localization back then. I don't think it, I don't think it hurts the series. So, I mean, yeah. it works, it works. And the localizator, the localization guy who worked on that also worked on uh, 428 Shibuya Scramble. And I mm. think he did a lot better on that game. Yeah. Uh, it's also just, probably like what they're expected to do at different times. Like back then it was more like, yeah, you got to make it more relatable to this demographic. Yeah. We don't, we don't know how it's going to be. We don't, we don't know if this is going to, we don't know if this is going to excel. Yeah. On PS3 for sure. In that, in that whole, for the year, for years, PS3 wasn't getting any Japanese games. Mm-hmm. They were releasing, uh, we got like, I think I remember like Tales of Zelia taking three years yeah. to be uh published and now we get them day of global yeah. launch it's crazy how far we've come um so great great ace attorney uh looking forward to it will i play it probably not probably not not until it's like five bucks and you buy it on a sale no and i'll probably I'm, buy it day one knowing me but I'll, you'll eventually I'll put it on my shelf yeah and i'll walk away it'll be on the, the backlog forever yes yes classic one day I'll yeah. get to it. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to whatever Nintendo's going to announce. I'm hoping for some Metroid Prime Four news. Maybe a maybe a, a little a, a crumb of Mother Three, please, please, a smidgen. I think I what I don't think they're going to announce, but what I hope they announce is the Switch 4K, whatever yeah. Switch Pro. That'd be um, neat. But there have been so many rumors so many times about it that uh, like I'm I'm trained to believe it's not. I real. just hate how like that's the thing. I hate how confident people are. I don't like the confidence of leaks that yeah. 
this is going to be announced. This is going to be announced. Just chill. Yeah. Let's all just let's all just wait and see what happens. If but it's like, announced, it's announced. They it's a week away, and everybody is so wants to spoil it so badly yeah. for themselves, as if in three days we're not all going to know. Yeah, like, exactly. I I I don't like leaks. Yeah, they take some of the fun out. Yeah. Um, I mean, you working in this industry, you do get embargoed stuff, but I do prefer that over over leaks because yeah. that way, like the the whole audience, because when I get something embargoed, I can't talk about it. So it's like it's never happened mm-hmm. because I, I can't even say what it is that I saw, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um but once it's announced, then we all talk about it at once. We have all the details. We're all like, oh, well, can we ask this? Because you can't ask anybody when something's leaked. Yeah. You have no one to reach out to. They'll be exactly. like, we'll tell you, we'll tell you when it really was supposed to happen. Um, but hey, I never like leaks. No, nah, they're no fun. I I am excited for Nintendo's uh E3, just just because they've had the Switch now for a while. And I'm hoping that that means we'll get some interesting games from them. They're the only publisher that is trying new things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Them Sony's releasing set in their ways. Yeah. Them releasing the uh, Famicom Detective Club. Yeah, that was is, so strange, but so cool. I mean, uh, even Mario and the Origami King, like just weird shit. Yeah. Yeah that these other studios wouldn't do they True. they wouldn't take that they wouldn't take that chance they wouldn't take a chance on having a uh having a bravely default to you know mm-hmm. they would they it wouldn't be like that so so that's why they're the outlier right you can expect bethesda and microsoft to talk about bethesda properties but you know all of bethesda's ip which makes me want a new IP. I'm so sick of sequels and and all this stuff. Just get a new get a new director, new blood. You know yeah. what? We're we're gonna. Why do we need more Elder Scrolls? You know, it's it's just a little little much. And I say that knowing that I am prone to getting hyped on nostalgia. Mm-hmm. You know, I do like the saga re releases and stuff and the. And like Legend of Mana coming out later this month, I do I do like all of that, yeah. but I think it, I think us I think the reliance I think that it probably has a lot to do with COVID too. I mean they have they're sitting on these IPs and it's tough for them to get the development team together. So let's just yeah absolutely put out, put out these old titles. Um, but yeah, man, it's weird. I'm uh, Nintendo is uh, is the outlier. They are. And that's why I'm looking forward to it. Just like, I'm not like a diehard Nintendo only person. I just think they do weird stuff and mm-hmm. I want to see what kind of weird stuff they're going to do now. Yeah. Sony's not going to be there. So forget them. Yeah. Square uh, might be interesting. I think they're going to, I think, I don't think they're going to say anything interesting. There's so many people that are like kingdom hearts news is going to come. And I'm like, what it's are you going to be? King- it's way too early. What are you talking about? Like, I'd love to be wrong, but I think it's way too early. That's what I said too. I was like, no, this is this is gonna be very much a Western uh, Western yeah. style show. We might get some Final Fantasy 16 news, but yeah, that's about the extent of it that I could see. And that's just because it's so huge over here, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh when and they've never shown gameplay. No, I think we're gonna see gameplay. No, I think we're going to see a nice cinematic trailer. Yeah. Maybe some think, cinematic vertical slice gameplay. Yeah, exactly. I hope we see at Nintendo, I hope we see Shin Megami Tensei 5, which I think we are because there was leaks. But I want yeah. to see some gameplay and stuff. So Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What are you what are you looking forward to? I am looking forward to um well I guess how we handle E three on this side of the thing is a little different than other people experience it. Um, we're watching the shows with everybody, but how it happens is I'll delegate news stories 
to to writers. So when something's yeah. announced, you X, you take this, X, you yeah. take that, I'll take this. And um and it's it's very much uh very fast pace. It's it's a lot of work. I think Nintendo's um thing Nintendo's event Nintendo events are very tough to cover. Uh, yeah. cuz they just one after the next after the next bam bam bam, bam nothing bam. and no nothing in between no long form i think state of play does these really long like yeah. reveals let's where they talk about things of gameplay yeah let's uh talk about it let's give you all the details but here you don't have any details you're just like um little billy is on a new adventure and he's taking a friend with him watch now you know like, you see two minutes and then next up on the list yeah John Swanson returns to the land of Putabia. And then it's like, I'm not done writing about Billy yet. Please <laughs> give me a minute. How do you spell Putabia? Yeah. <laughs> Your press release is going to be too late. Does this website have a, or does this game have a website? Does it have a Steam street? Yeah. It's... Yeah. I miss, I do miss the personality of Nintendo's non direct conferences. I miss yeah. the weird, the strange things they do in between yeah so i it also made it easier to write but i do miss it yeah give us a breath so i think that's i think my e3 is mostly looking forward to how we handle that this year yeah. it's been different for the previous years because we actually have a huge team now mm-hmm. so i am thinking i'm thinking things will be a lot smoother and we'll be covering a lot of news so yeah i'm excited it's gonna be fun it's gonna be busy but it's gonna be fun it's gonna be busy Starts, it starts if you're listening to this today it starts today yeah today being thursday everything yeah, we're in we're in the future and i think next thursday we'll have more to talk about because e3 will be over i think right now we're just like in this anticipation phase yeah it's the ooh, what's gonna happen and then next week we'll be oh here we know everything you know? yeah oh this is what happened oh this all happened huh. yeah hmm. but with that said we can wrap up the show man yeah that was you know that's oh e3 i forgot for us. I forgot the winner. I forgot the winner. The winner, the winner for Legacy. saying Legacy is uh, PSO Fan 2000. I'll comment on your, your uh, I'll reply to your comment and I'll give you our email. So just shoot us an email and I'll send you a code for Capcom arcade stadium on ps4 if you don't have a ps4 well too bad too bad that's what you're getting and that's what you got when you get a ps4 you already have a game exactly there you go exactly well um thank you spencer for your time thank you i love doing the show have a good have a good week i'll see you later you too yeah bye everyone Noisy pixel.